Bet you didn't know, the shorts are back. After a little hiatus for flight training and church camp, we're back with more useless information about airplanes and cars and motorcycles, as well as some really helpful information about stair parts. So I'm sure you really wanna know everything there is to know about end caps for handrail. And so let me feed it to you. This first end cap, this is our standard end cap for our aluminum handrail system. Now aluminum, when it is extruded, the inside dimensions are held to a really tight tolerance. And so we're able to design this end cap to machine it so that it can be tapped in and it can stay firmly in place. So let me go over several of the features that are on here. This hole serves the purpose of being a hook place for when it gets powder coated. Around here, there's a nice chamfer so that when you push it into a handrail, it gives a nice lead in. If you look carefully on this, the um, section along here is where the interference is met. So when it is pushed into the handrail, there is a good place for it to be able to land. It's a slight interference fit, so we can move a little bit of aluminum to create that good bond. And on the outside, we've got a nice chamfer, so it gives a really finished look. And our machining department is very careful to make sure that the radius around this corner is an exact match for the radius of the aluminum extrusion, so that when it's all done, it looks beautiful. Here's the next one. This is the four inch end cap for aluminum. It's the same thing, only just a little bit bigger. So we can skip past it pretty quick. Now here's a cute little guy. This is for the quick slide system. We don't have the same interference points on the quick slide system. So we've got these four points where it's designed to be able to uh, go into the round part of the extrusion. This square here is simply for a place for the, the tool to be able to, to pick off and a locating. And once again, we've got a hole in the center and that's for hanging it for powder coat. So we uh, designed this guy to pop in to the end of the quick slide system and you get a beautiful look. Last one is the stainless. Now stainless is a little bit ornery to make it work. And so there are a lot of design features in this guy that I'm gonna go over. Notice how it is relieved out here and it's relieved on the ends. It's because stainless is so strong that we intentionally relieved out so that we've only got a few points of contact. There's a point of contact here, 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 and here. Uh, and a little bit on the ends is also when stainless is made, it starts out as a flat sheet and it is rolled around. So its shape in a stainless handrail isn't as perfect as what the aluminum extrusion is. So when this guy pops in, we have to have lots of clearance room and that's what these clearance cuts are for. Notice there's a little bit of a step. So when we push it in, there's a, a step so that it can get started and then it can get tapped in more firmly afterwards also when a stainless is rolled around there is a point in which the flat comes together and it is laser welded that's called the seam that seam is typically on one of these edges and that's one of the other reasons why we have a nice relief cut so that we don't interfere with the seam when we tap this on now we found out quite a long time ago that our machine parts we have no corrosion issues with and so all of our end plugs are made out of 316 stainless. We have not seen a need to go to 2205 for the end plugs. So whether your customer orders 304 or they order 2205 handrail, they're gonna get a 316 end plug, which is the same material as what all of our rod and cable fittings are made of. Go get it, B-Rail.